hello everyone uh, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to consume a restful web service uh, to consume a restful web service we need few basic things uh, first we need to see uh, which libraries we are going to use to make a web uh, to consume a restful web service I am going to use uh, Jersey libraries as I can uh, show you how to download these jersey libraries you can go to google and write uh, jersey download and here is a uh, download jersey jersey java.net here we have two types of uh, libraries jersey 2.x and jersey 1.x in my project i'm using jersey 1.19 you can use uh, jersey 2.x as well if you like so uh, for me i'm using these libraries uh, and after downloading these libraries you need to create a new project new java project you can go to the new other and we will find a java where is here java a uh, simple java project it's actually here java project then you go to next give your project name everything and then finish i am not creating here this new project because i already have the project with the name of temperature calculate restful service in this temperature calculate restful service we have different kinds of files first we will import our uh, jersey libraries to import jersey libraries you download those libraries the link I showed you after downloading them you will have something like this uh, this file jersey archive 1.19 you go into this file open these libraries copy all of them all of these libraries and put them in your library folder after putting them in your library folder you need to open this pom.xml this is very important archive pom.xml in this xml we will store our all dependencies which we will use in this project the important archives are asm jersey bundle json jersey server and jersey core these are the core important files we need in our project after this we will uh, create a java class we go to java resource service and we will create one java class you can easily create the java class i'm not going to create it because i already create one with the name of restful client jersey this restful client jersey have this class name this void method what i am going to do uh, to consume a restful web service i need some uh, url to consume here so uh, i already have a url i created before like this one celsius to fahrenheit i'm using this web service to consume it as a client so just to see just to show you what this re web service will return so this is the url and here it will return me some uh, json data so i can change my temperature here any thing whatever i need for example i can give 60 here and it will give me the result back so this json data i'm using i'm going to consume it use it in my class so to do first uh, I am going to make a uh, one private method private void just to give a name uh, with my web service is get it's not post so I will put guest get Fahrenheit to see response so to start the consume web service we need to create a client instance because we are making a client here so we have to make one client instance client 
client is equals to client dot create we have make our client instance after making the client instance we need to uh, we need a client resource we need a client resource so uh, how we can make a client resource we can use client resource using web resource so we will use our web resource put web yes resource is equals to client response sorry it's client resource not response and in this response i'm going to pass my url which i have showed you before in my browser because it is the running url so i will copy this url and paste it here we have to be sure that our url is exactly the same if our url have any kind of problem we will not see any kind of result after making this uh, client resource we client response we will uh, make a get method because this uh, we are our web service restful web service is based on get function get method so to make a get first uh, what i will do i will make a client resource client response sorry client response make a instance of response from web resource dot get in get i will put my uh, give the name of my class client response dot class okay here is one thing you can see in this uh, web service i am using a json data so to implement this json i need to give a accept message like what kind of uh, re response my uh, web service uh, client will accept so to make this uh, to uh, make my web resource available to accept the json i need to put one method here it's uh, accept and in accept i will pass my data this is this application json and then i will get my client response this is it this is the most important stuff we need to do here after this we just we can make a little uh, we can just see if we are have a response correct response or not if we don't have a correct response we can handle it like for example we can say response Response dot get a get a status is not equals to 200. 200 means it's okay. If it is not 200, it give us the give the exception. Uh, throw new runtime exception here. Runtime exception, and in this we can say anything like http error code or blah blah like i am going to say http error code which will be and here i can get the response status response dot get status this is it this is it we everything we need to do to uh, to I think this is it. We can now make our uh, we can now make our 
So this is it. Uh, here we will make I make a output uh, variable with a string name to see the response result. Here you will show the result and we will print it. So in this void main method, I will call my this uh, method. I will make a object instance of my class. My class name is restful client jersey. Uh, restful client jersey uh, rest is equals to new this guy from rest I will call get f2 c response and here we go this is all we need to do now I can come here restful client jersey and run my application okay so it is loading launching the operation here we go uh, here we have the result I put 60 here and he gave the value is 60 with value the Fahrenheit temperature is 15.555 so uh, this is how you can see in 